This was supposed to be uh, Simon, the chairman of the Open Street Map Foundation. Uh, it has been suggested that I try to emulate him uh, in, in, in the way that I speak, but uh, I wouldn't put you through that. Uh, instead, unfortunately, you've got me. I can't claim to do as good a job as Simon would, uh, but thankfully he, uh, at the very last minute, sent me through a bunch of scribbles, which he called his notes, and I've based my slides off that. Uh, one thing to point out, uh, this has been through Simon's head, this has been through my head. Uh, please don't take this as OpenStreetMap Foundation gospel. We find it difficult enough to agree on the stuff that we do put out. Uh, this hasn't been approved in any official sense. Uh, so what does OpenStreetMap Foundation do? Uh, well, it's basically uh, the body that is, is there in a legal sense uh, in order to make sure that uh, you know, when the government wants to send us some sort of nasty gram, we have an address that they can send it to. Uh, they really don't like it when you get all these crowd of people and they don't know who to talk to and they keep talking about, oh, we want to we have a meeting with a boss. And you're like, well, there's no boss. We're a community. Um, we make sure that the servers are up and running, that the data that uh, all you fantastic contributors contribute to the project gets distributed out. Uh, so that's all of the live updates, the minutely diffs, the big planet dumps, the planet history files. Uh, and we really want, make, want to make sure that that's distributed uh, far and wide. Uh, we also run a fantastic annual conference. I wouldn't like to make any comparisons with this one. This one is also fantastic. But if you feel like going to Buenos Aires in November, stay the map's going to be there. Uh, and to support the above, unfortunately, uh, we also have to collect some money. Uh, what do we not do? Well, the charter of the OpenStreetMap Foundation says that we support but not control the project. Uh, and that means we try and stay as far away from stuff like tagging. Uh, we try and stay out of when the community wants to get together and self-govern. So things like state of the, uh, 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 OpenStreetMap Foundation US chapter, uh, things like uh, the humanitarian OpenStreetMap team, fantastic organizations. We really want to interfere with them as little as possible. Um, and generally, actually, just sort of let you guys get on with it, because uh, uh, when uh, uh, when people get together and they, they do something that they're passionate about, then a lot of the time, any outside interference is, is going to be detrimental to that. Um, one thing that's probably going to get brought up in the questions, if I don't mention it, is the data working group, who do a lot of interference. Um, and generally, that's to make sure that when there are community guidelines about doing things like uh, imports or mass edits that uh, you know those rules that, that, that um, have been put together by the community are actually enforced um, and uh, applied equally across the board um, but I'm sure there'll be questions about that later um, however there is some tagging that at least Simon should have been paying attention to this is the reason he's not here today uh, he, ha he said he had visa troubles. His visa troubles was that his visa was water soluble. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're also against centralized innovation. Basically, uh, I mean, innovation is great, and you guys do a, a great amount of this, uh, this, this stuff. But it doesn't help if you have some sort of organization trying to say in a top-down way, you know, this is the way that we want to be driving people towards. This is the sort of direction we want to be forcing you to go. We would rather that, that you guys explore the stuff that you're passionate about um, and that we uh, in OpenStreetMap Foundation support you in that. Um, yeah, so thank you. Basically, if you're out there and you're on the community and you're doing stuff, you're innovating, whether it's technology, mapping, uh, bringing other people together, thank you for that. Please keep doing it. So this is just sort of how OpenStreetMap has grown along with the foundation. When it was founded, way, way back when, it was really a very much smaller community. Uh, everybody knew each other. And since then, it's grown and grown. And you can see on there the, the latest version of the API is really quite a long time ago. Um, and then something at the end, which uh, I'm not going to touch on. It's going to be talked about by Alex in a bit in way, way too much detail. 
So I thought it would be useful to compare uh, the OpenStreetMap Foundation with a couple of other open foundations. Uh, so you have Mozilla, uh, and underneath each one is, is how much they, uh, how much they uh, collect in money each year. I wouldn't say in donations, because the first thing to say is that Mozilla's, uh, they say in their report that it comes mostly from uh, Google referrals, which is great. Every time you use uh, Mozilla Firefox, which is a fantastic product, change the search engine. Because uh, basically, you know, it's one of these things where if, if you're not paying for the product, then you are the product. Uh, Wikimedia, surprisingly, I thought actually would be, would be bigger than Mozilla, but actually uh, considerably smaller. Uh, they actually are much more open about the stuff that they have, and so they uh, they say that 42% of the money that they receive is from the six largest donors. So in the same way that happens with political parties, you know, you've got to sort of be a bit careful that they don't have undue influence. And in fact, one of those, one of those largest donors actually has a seat on the uh, Wikipedia board. Um, and it spends most of that money on uh, financing its, its staff. Uh, over 100 staff they have now. Um, and despite that, the goals that they set out for themselves in 2012, they missed most of them. Uh, so my take home from all this is that uh, making a difference in a community like Wikipedia, uh, it, it depends on the people a lot more, depends on the people a lot more than the, uh, uh, the amount of money in your wallet. And I think in OpenStreetMap, we have fantastic people. So I was talking about this, talking to someone about this the other day, and they said to me that OpenStreetMap Foundation is a Republican's wet dream. Now, we should move on quickly, because you don't want to get the mental image that I got. So this is how sort of OpenStreetMap, the foundation, breaks down. We have, uh, I know it was said earlier, we have over a million people signed up. Only about 400,000 of them have actually contributed. Uh, don't really know why. If anyone wants to do some research into that, it would be great. Of those, only about one in a thousand become OpenStreetMap Foundation members, which is kind of troubling. And then there are about 43 working group members on each of those uh, seven working groups that I've put up there. Uh, and each of those sends a representative to what we call the management team uh, to coordinate everything, and then there are seven uh, elected OpenStreetMap Foundation board members. Uh, I think three of us are here. If you're, a board, if you're an OpenStreetMap board member, stand up. So, Henk is here to share the burden with me. <laughs> uh, now, it does turn out that seven board members plus eight people on the management team uh, plus 43 people on the working groups doesn't actually equal 58. There's a lot of people that are on many of these things. Uh, f very few unique individuals uh, involved in the running of OpenStreetMap. And I love them, they're doing great work, uh, but they've been there a long time. A lot of them have been there since pretty much the foundation of the foundation. And it would be really great if any of you felt that this was something that you could get in involved in. Uh, that you could uh, help these guys out. Like I say, they're doing great work, but uh, could do with uh, an injection of fresh in ideas. And someone told me that I had to have a picture of a cat. So there's a picture of a cat stuck in a sofa. So how can you help? Well, basically get involved um, in any way that you want to. Uh, so we have these working groups. Uh, they're there mainly to do work. Uh, they get tasked with a certain thing, so the data working group is tasked with looking at uh, vandalism and making sure that uh, the, the community's guidelines on, on, on how to do large edits are, are followed. Um, say, for example, the engineering working group, which I'm on, we meet once a week to, uh, to discuss uh, development side stuff, so if you're interested in getting involved with the OpenStreetMap code or with any project that's using OpenStreetMap code, you want to talk to some guys, come along to one of the engineering working group meetings. Um, it occurs to me while I'm up here that I should have provided a link, but if you go to www.osmfoundation.org, you'll find links there to all the working groups, uh, a little bit of blurb on, on what it is they do. You should find a list of who's on it and uh, a link to how to get involved, how to, to turn up at a meeting. Some of them are some of the voice meetings, some of them are on IRC. Um, 
yeah, but you can send an email, uh, get involved. The other part is uh, become an individual or a corporate member. Becoming an individual member gives you the right to uh, elect people to the board, gives you a say. I know uh, around here in DC they have uh, number plates which say no taxation without representation, which I don't know, totally passes me by. I've got no idea what that's about. But you certainly should, uh, if you want to be represented by the OpenStreetMap Foundation board, please do join up, um, get involved in the OpenStreetMap Foundation group. Like I say, we're a, a small subset of all of those 400,000 people, and it would be great to have a larger, more representative set of people involved. Uh, also, if you happen to be uh, pulling the strings at a, some sort of company, we want your money. I'm, I'm sorry, yes, you can get involved too. Um, you can become a corporate member, which is something that's uh, new this past 12 months. Uh, and it would be absolutely fantastic to have more companies involved in the Opportunity Foundation and uh, hearing their voice in working groups and that sort of thing. And the last one is donate. Uh, you can go to donate.openstreetmap.org. Uh, uh, that money goes to help us uh, keep the services running, uh, keep the working groups working, and generally keeping the whole thing ticking over so that nobody else has to worry about it and you guys can all focus on the things that you're passionate about. And that's pretty much it. I really mean thank you. Everybody here uh, who's come to the conference has shown that you love the project, you're interested in the project, interested in learning about the project, doing stuff on it, whether it's mapping, development, education. Uh, thank you so much for making OpenStreetMap the success that it is. And I think I did all of that in about two minutes, or at least that's what it felt like. So there seems to be a natural connection between Wikipedia, which is the collection of the world's college experience, and the OpenStreetMap, which is a collection of the world's data, which is Right, so the question is how often does the OpenStreetMap Foundation and the uh, Wikimedia Foundation, how often do they meet, discuss the common goals, obviously because we're both, into, both interested in, in collecting and uh, distributing freely um, knowledge about the world, whether that's Wikipedia, Wikipedia articles or OpenStreetMap geodata. Uh, the answer is I don't believe it's ever happened formally. Uh, we have a lot of people involved in OpenStreetMap and in the foundation who are also heavily involved in uh, Wikipedia and you know people who come to Stay the Map who go to Wikimania as well. Uh, so there's a lot of crossover between the kind of people who like to contribute to OpenStreetMap and the like, kind of people who like to contribute to Wikipedia. Um, and in fact, a lot of people that, that I know uh, yeah, I might call uh, Wikipedia refugees, that they started off in Wikipedia and then came over to OpenStreetMap later on and, uh, and uh, generally active in both. But to the question, how, how often have we met up as an OpenStreetMap Foundation board, as a, a Wikimedia board, it hasn't happened. It's not that I'm against it happening, um, but it just hasn't happened. Anyone else? Yeah, so the question is about, do we get involved in edit wars? Absolutely, that's the primary role of uh, the data working group. They're there to revert vandalism and where there are cases where two people don't agree, in much the same sense as in, in, as in Wikipedia. Uh, there needs to be some process there to make sure that those guys, first of all, stop whatever activity it is that might be damaging the map itself, give them a bit of a time out, try to get them to talk, Sometimes even that's not far enough and you have to, you know, you, a lot of people put a lot of effort in and uh, sadly sometimes it doesn't work out and you end up having to, to sort of try and effectively block people. But we don't like it to get that far. Uh, the, the data working group is there to uh, protect the map and then try and bring people together and say, uh, you know, we, we all want the same thing here. Everybody in this room wants OpenStreetMap to be the most awesome map ever. Um, just 
have a lot of disagreements about how exactly to go about. Christian. Can you use a better term for improvement between the relation and the foundation and the Ah, so the question is about local chapters. Actually, there has been a bit of activity on this recently. I know we're making progress. I think uh, we could all say it's slow, but we'd rather get it right than um, rush through something and, and, and then try to put in place a framework which doesn't work either for the local chapters or for the foundation. Uh, I believe Simon had put something to the board and uh, that was the last I saw before I came out here. Um, we're working on it and I, I'll, I'll try and get Simon to, to send you an email with what's the latest on that. I know that it's more visiting uh, the, the, the vision of the foundation to more Uh, so the question is about whether the OpenStreetMap Foundation wants to promote local chapters. Absolutely yes. And thematic things like uh, HOT or wherever anybody has a particular interest in, uh, uh, if you like, uh, a particular area of interest of the OpenStreetMap data. Um, I know there's a lot of communities around things like uh, Open Peace Map, Open Sea Map, that sort of thing. Those guys already self-organize. At some point, they get to the point where they want to have resources for themselves. As you know, OpenStreetMap France, you know, you want to, to get in there and, and, and have some service so that you guys can use within your community. Uh, that's absolutely fantastic. We totally support that. Right, so the, the question here, I guess, is about uh, closer integration between the two projects. Uh, it has been discussed. I know some people who are very active in, in Wikipedia were talking about that, and the Wikipedia community, particularly as regards to the, uh, the info box and um, making that or extracting that from OpenStreetMap or putting the data back into OpenStreetMap, uh, there was some unease, I think, about uh, their traditional position has been that they're vendor neutral. So if you go on the coordinates page, it has a lot of you know links to Google, it has links to Bing, it has links to OpenStreetMap. I think there was some concern within their community that they didn't want to lose that, they didn't want to promote one over another. Now, I think that's a discussion that they need to have. I don't want to to, to impose my view, which is that OpenStreetMap is awesome and should totally use OpenStreetMap. I don't want to impose that on them. Um, I think it's for the, the Wikipedians to sort that out. The other way, in terms of going from Wikipedia data into OpenStreetMap, I believe a lot of that already happens. Um, I think people do, uh, when they're looking at things like population figures and that sort of thing, I think they'll take a look at that data that's publicly available and say, yeah, okay, that's something that we should, we should include. Absolutely. Uh, we have some data working group people in the house. Um, we, keep, we keep him on a feed of um, caffeine 24-7 delivery. Yeah. Uh, and he's always talking about how he wants to promote the foundation. Yeah, actually, to be, to be honest, uh, today, the map, anything could be happening to the map. <laughs> <laughs> no, Paul, Paul is fantastic. Um, he uh, has a bunch of tools. In fact, there's a, there's a, a, a bunch of tools used by all the uh, data working group members, which 
try to highlight things which are a bit troubling so you can jump in there and say, well, hang on, that doesn't look right. I know uh, in, in Wikipedia they have a lot of bots w looking for this, and uh, a good example of that is the school that I went to one day had the page vandalized. It was a you know, quite good historical article, presumably written by either a teacher or a parent, uh, and the next day it had been replaced by basically a string of profanities, presumably written by a student. <laughs> and yeah, that was reverted the next day just because there are people who are uh, watching particular pages and doing it themselves, or there are bots which say, well, hang on, the page just you know, went from being you know, a few thousand words to being five. That's probably vandalism. We'll revert that at least until somebody comes in and says it's not. Um, we don't have that kind of automatic tooling in OpenStreetMap. There's a couple of reasons for that. One is that a uh, Wikipedia page stands by itself. So it's very easy to take that page and say, you know, for safety, we'll go back to a previous version. Uh, in OpenStreetMap, the whole data set is connected. Uh, if a couple of edits come in and then, you know, the bot reacts and says, the first of those will look like vandalism. And the second one has gone in over the top of it, which might have been somebody trying to fix the vandalism. And now I've got to go and try and unpick all of these things and go back to a previous version. But what if the guy, when he was fixing vandalism, put in some new features? Ah, yeah, it's, it's a more difficult problem for us than it is for Wikipedia. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you're interested in working on that, then absolutely get involved with, uh, with Data Working Group. It's a very interesting, but at the same time, quite hard <laughs> problem. Anyone else? I think that most of the vandalism is getting to technical fairly quickly inside people in the area. Yeah. more the, the large scale or strictly profanities that we get, we get involved in, and those tend to be affecting mechanically again. Yeah, so Paul's basically saying that uh, uh, one of the primary tools for DWG is uh, people noticing in their local area when this stuff has happened, and that's a great motivation to get OpenStreetMap out and used more. Uh, I know that you going back to the Wikipedia thing, the Wikipedia guys have, uh, have, have several times tried to uh, have their own rendering of OpenStreetMap. They're very interested in uh, a rendering which is multilingual, which is kind of hard to do. I don't think anybody else is really doing that at the moment. Um, and so they're trying, they've had a couple of attempts at it and uh, uh, without success, but I hope they manage to do it. It will be absolutely fantastic to have their audience looking with a um, a link down the bottom to uh, to, to dr both drive people towards editing OpenStreetMap, but also towards reporting problems, so that people who are already in the community can pick that up and uh, and, and, and fix it. I'm just curious what the mechanism is for reporting uh, trouble if you happen to see it. Right. So, what's the mechanism for reporting trouble? Uh, the easiest way is you could in email uh, Data Working Group, which is data at osmfoundation.org. Uh, if it's, say, more of a sort of a less urgent thing, like fix this later, then we have a note system within uh, the OpenStreetMap website, which allows you to go in and say, this thing is wrong, you leave a note there, and somebody will uh, hopefully come back and, uh, and take a look at that later. The other great place to get involved in is uh, if there's a m local mailing list. Uh, to have a bit of a discussion and say, well, hang on, this, this doesn't look quite right to me. I looked at it and I thought it was vandalism. And then somebody else might come on and they might say, well, yeah, it looks that way. It's like, you know, we're halfway through doing something to it or something like that. Um, so the key really, I think, is, is connecting to the community. I know Data Working Group uh, do a fantastic job, um, but they can't handle everything. So I think the first recourse is, is generally to, to your local community and try and uh, there are some tools which are, are, are not impossible to use. <laughs> I mean, all the tools are pretty difficult to use, unfortunately. And if anybody's interested in helping out with that, that would be great. Um, but uh, some of them, for example, JOSM has an inbuilt uh, sort of uh, reversion thing. It's not, it won't handle every corner case. But it's generally pretty good for the sort of thing of somebody f signed up one day and just, you know, selected everything within a bounding box and deleted it by mistake. Uh, yeah. So th those sort of things are relatively easy to repair. All right. Well, thank you for listening to me. <laughs> <laughs>